Welcome back to the Blackpool career mode. It's been a while, hasn't it? I apologise for that. And I feel like I start almost every episode nowadays apologising for the, for the length in between episodes. It's been almost two and a half weeks since the previous video and previous episode of this on the channel. And I am sorry for that, but I have been quite busy in that period of time, uh, you know, with work. And then also over the last week, just enjoying some time off, meeting up with friends and that, and uh, just doing a bunch of other activities. But now I I am back on the YouTube grind once again with another episode of the Blackpool career mode and actually in between the two recordings for this episode this first part the post commentary part was done about two and a half weeks ago and then the live commentary was done the day before your the day before I'm doing this particular bit so uh, yeah it has been quite a long time uh, between recordings but anyway just a quick recap um, obviously the Champions League group we have played two games we have won each of them 3-1 against Borussia Dortmund and Spartak Moscow we play Ajax today twice and Borussia Dortmund again later on as well and in the Premier League we currently sit in second place level on points with Liverpool and also level with um, Leeds and Chelsea below us with Manchester United and Brighton lurking one point behind but we start off this episode with a simulated game away at Watford with the second team and we get a nice 2-1 win, although Cesar Hamida did get sent off. But now let's get back into the actual action, shall we? Let's have let's have a watch of some actual football on the football pitch. Our first play game of this episode, we take on Leicester City at the new and improved Bloomfield Road, of course. And we start off very early on in the second minute with Patterson, a ball inside to Michael Elise. Barbosa gives it back to Elise and Ramos on the turn and Livakovic with the early save. Fast forward to the 10th minute and we're on the attack again already with Ahmad Diallo receiving the ball from Michael Elisa. He gives it to Ramos. Brilliant turn around the defender. Ramos shot is saved initially, but he gets the rebound and we take the lead against Leicester 1-0 at Bloomfield Road and it's Gonzalo Ramos again. And just two minutes later, the 13th minute, Sheshko sends another ball through to Ramos, who this time hits the bar and it's headed away by Zagadou and Elise can't quite get it to his man. Into the 36th minute now and Leicester are the ones coming forward with Pellegrini playing it to Rodri whose shot is straight at Ezekiel Afire. Into the second half and the 48th minute here with Leicester playing it around the back really stupidly to be honest. Elise wins the header, Ramos with the ball around the corner to Amad Diallo and Sheshko with the scorpion kick puts it into the back of the net and we double our lead. What a lovely finish that was from Benjamin Sheshko and these scorpion kicks are becoming a regular habit now aren't they? But now we head into the 60th minute and Leicester are the ones coming forward now. Dan James who is very, very quick. He's already passed Akara as well. So it's going to be tough to catch up with him. He does cut back, gives it back to Amati. He plays it to Pellegrini, back to Amati again inside to Pellegrini. And they've worked that very well, Leicester. And it's Anthony Marshall who finishes it off. And suddenly they're right back in the game. Now we come on the attack again with Gonzalo Ramos. He sees um, Ahmad Diallo out wide. And Diallo is going to try and come inside here. On his left foot, Elisa gets out of the way. Diallo with the shot and Lavakovic makes a good save through all the bodies. We now head later on into the game and Leicester have a corner put in by Rodrigo. We can't quite get it away there. Akara tries, Branthwaite tries, we just can't get it away. Cechamani can't either. And in the end, he's put into the back of the net by Yannick Vestergaard. How many attempts at a clearance did we have there? And we just could not get the ball away from the penalty area. And in the end, we were made to pay for that. Vestergaard, ever the opportunist to put it into the back of the net. And it's now 2-2. We've lost our two-goal lead. And that is how it's going to end, unfortunately. We didn't get a chance to try and get another goal. And in the end, we've lost the two-goal lead and lost the chance to go top of the table. But now it's time to head over to the Netherlands, to the Johan Cruyff Arena, to take on Ajax in the Champions League. And once again, we're looking to make a quick start here with Ramos playing it through to Musiala, whose shot is saved by Gorta, and it's only six minutes in, so if we continue like this, we could get another easy win here. 18th minute now and Ahmad Diallo looking for a searching ball over the top for Gonzalo Ramos. Can he get to it? Yes, he can. And uh, that's a penalty. Okay, game, whatever you say. Cheshko to step up to take the penalty. And Cheshko to score the penalty. 1-0, simple as that. But of course, Ajax are not easy opponents. And that's a lovely ball from Davy Klassen to Berghaus. Back to Klassen again. Inside for Danilo. And it's a good save from Andrade. Danilo took that very quickly. 
Now cuts the 31st minute and Alvarez running down the wing here and that cross was pretty awful, you have to say. But the, Greek, the keeper throws it straight back out to him. He heads it to Sheshko and that is the biggest punishment of all. The goalkeeper with a terrible throw um, and it went straight to Alvarez who headed it straight to Sheshko and within three touches it's in the back of his net anyway. Now we're into the second half and the 47th minute with Alvarez winning the header, playing it back to Bard. Bard does well to get through there and gives it to Benjamin Zeshko, hits it first time once again and curls it into the bottom corner this time. Is there anywhere in the goal that this man can't put it? He's put it in the top left, the top right and now the bottom right and Benjamin Zeshko has a hat trick against Ajax. But Ajax were never going to give up, it's Dusan Tadic on this left hand side in the 52nd minute. He's still running down this side here and it's a great ball into the box where Berghaus wins the header. And that is a sublime save from Breno Andrade. There is absolutely no way he should have saved that and he did. And I even had to get out the instant replay just to show how good of a save that really was. And now we're into the 64th minute. Ajax coming forward again with class and playing it inside to Danilo. He plays it across to Canete, and that's another fantastic save from Andrade. I mean, to be fair to Ajax, they kept pushing, and they did get a goal back in the end through Danilo, but um, yeah, that was how it was going to end. Another 3-1 win for us. Three out of three. And now we make our way to the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford, as we prepare to take on Manchester United away. Who will be the one who gets the dream result today? That was super cringe. And it's Blackpool who are the ones trying to get off to the dream start here as Elise with a lovely ball over the top for Liam Delap. And we have got off to the dream start. It's 1-0 to Blackpool after just 15 minutes. What a lovely over the top ball from Michael Elise with his weaker foot no less. And Liam Delap with a lovely finish. And Manchester United decided they're going to try a similar sort of tactic there with the, the ball being played over the top for Rashford and that was just a poor attempt at a shot considering where the goalkeeper was. And just like that we're suddenly into the second half and just like that we're suddenly level. Bruno Fernandes puts it right into the middle of the net. Andrade's made a mistake there. I don't know how he didn't save that to be honest with you. It was straight at him but Bruno Fernandes equalises for Manchester United. Now we go on with Liam Delap. He's really feeling it today, isn't he? He's already got one goal and he's looking for another one. And his shot is well saved by Ariola. Into the 69th minute, Bruno Fernandes finds a lovely ball to Rashford, plays it back to Casemiro. And what a save that is from Andrade. He made himself big, just dived across in hope and got there. And it's United coming forward again now. It's a ball over the top for Jaden Sancho this time. Plays it inside. Bruno Fernandes crosses it into Rashford. Andrade punches it away just before Rashford could get his shot away. And we come away with it now. And we're on the counter-attack. Alvarez playing the ball over the top for Gonzalo Ramos. And just like that, we've gone from nearly conceding to scoring and retaking the lead. And it is Gonzalo Ramos. What a counter-attack that was. We've got a corner now, right near the end of the game, just two minutes to go. It's whipped in by Musiala. It's headed out to the edge of the area to Alvarez. Ahmad Diallo now on the ball, giving it to Hamida. Alvarez gets past his man brilliantly, gets a cross in. There's no one really there, but it does find Benjamin Sheshko, who's on his left foot and takes the shot, and Ariola makes the save. We do have another corner. Surely this will be the last attack of the game. As Ramos wins the header, it goes wide, but we do win the game by two goals to one against Manchester United. United. Carabao Cup action, we are away against Norwich, the second team is out for this one, we are simulating this one and it's a lovely 3-1 win to take us into the quarterfinals. And now we're back to the league and we have Wolves at home. And we start off in the 28th minute in this one, so not many early chances. We play, we're giving Kolodzi edge a game as well. At centre attack, he mid as Alvarez trying to make some space, back healing it to Taylor and he has a go. Yeah. Wolves on the attack now in the 34th minute, Ruben Vinagre giving it to Daniel Pedence. Pedence gets the cross in for Bialek, and that is a fantastic save from Ezekiel Afaya, right from the top corner. And into the second half now, I'm right at the start of the second half, Wolves are coming forward with Giovanni Reina, he's just running into the space there, gives it to Bialek, and that is a brilliant strike, you have, it has to be said, Afaya with not really much chance there, and Wolves take the lead. Into the 82nd minute now and Elise with the ball out wide to Alvarez who's now just looking for space and now just looking for someone to pass to. He finds Barbosa who goes with his left and it's saved by Jose Sarr. 
and it looks like we could lose out on this one. We're in the 91st minute, we've got one minute left, but look at that. Michael Elise has been left entirely open here, and with the last kick of the game, Michael Elise rescues a point for Blackpool. He is the hero in this game. It's only one point, but every point counts. The whole team come over to celebrate with him, and it's a fantastic ending for Blackpool as we rescue a one-all draw against Wolves. Now, I'll be honest, I'm on this screen because I'm get, needing to give myself a refresher as to what happened in the first part of this episode because it's about a week and a half since I actually recorded that bit. What I do know is, is that next up, we have a Champions League game against Ajax and we have won our first three Champions League games all by the scoreline of 3-1. And since then, I've got myself a new controller as well, a blue one. So now I actually do have two controllers for my PS5. But I think Ajax's team is all right there, so I guess let's get on with this, shall we? We're back at Bloomfield Road. It's Blackpool against Ajax. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen this um, this cutscene. In fact, I don't know if I've seen this cutscene yet in this uh, in this save. Let's see how rusty I really am. Not only is it, you know, a week and a half since I last recorded anything to do with this, it's about, it, I haven't played FIFA since then. Barbosa, here is Musiala. Amad Diallo on his left. Oh, he's got the shot away and he's scored it. What a goal from Amad Diallo. Get in there. That's what we love to see. There's no rustiness whatsoever. <laughs> what a hit that was in such like tight circumstances. He received the ball there. He had a defender in front of him, but lovely finish from Ahmad. What a goal. That's a great kick. Ahmad's got it. Ahmad's still got it. He's got past his man, but he's going to have to get inside somehow. But he might be able to do that anyway. Oh, it's saved by the goalkeeper. He should have put that away, I guess. I think, maybe. Either way, decent save. Timber. Musiala with the curling effort and once again it's in! Their goalkeeper cannot deal with these curling efforts into the goal. Jamal Musiala does it from the opposite side to Ahmad and we lead Ajax by two goals to nil. Not yet seen a peep out of either of our strikers yet. Both Sheshko and Ramos have been awfully quiet and yet we still lead by two goals to nil. Oh, now here comes Gonzalo Ramos, here he comes, passes it across to Ahmad and he gets his second and it's three! Within 36 minutes, this might be a few more than three than it has been in every other Champions League game so far. Ahmad Diallo gets his second. Danilo, oh, he sent it through for Klassen. Andrade down very quickly. Good reactions from the keeper. Oh, Danilo's found himself through here and he's tried to chip Andrade and it hasn't worked. Andrade stopped just at the right time for the ball to not get over him. Look at that for a touch from Ahmad. Hey, how about that? Musiala into Sheshko, and it's not going to be 3 1 this time. It's going to be more. We've scored a fourth goal, and Benjamin Sheshko finally gets himself on the score sheet. Unfortunately, the streak of 3 1s is over, but fortunately, it's going to be replaced by an even better scoreline. The lap. Here goes Ahmad Diallo now. Here is Ahmad Diallo. He's still going. We've got so many people forward. I'm sorry, I just got distracted by my phone. Oh my god, he's hit the bar. That did just clip the bar as it went over. Oh, that's a great ball through. Andrade. Brilliant stuff there from Andrade. Lovely clearance as well from Melvin Bard. It's up in the air. Alvarez can't bring it down. Chekamani can. Here's Liam Delap. Oh, it's lovely to find Elise once again. And he finds Ahmad. And here we are again with Ahmad. Looking to get a shot away, and we've done it! He's done it, he's got a hat trick, Amad Diallo! With one of the last kicks of the game, Amad Diallo gets himself a hat trick. What a way to finish the game. 5 0 to Blackpool over Ajax, and Amad Diallo has three of them. What a brilliant strike that was through everyone, right into the top corner. Love it. And there we go, that is the end of the game. What a way to end the game that was. 5-0 win over Ajax. We are absolutely steamrolling through our Champions League group at the moment. Four wins out of four. Three three ones and a 5-0. Can the other two be 5-0? We go, we beat everyone 3-1, then beat everyone 5-0. Don't see it happening, but hey, you never know. And that win has actually seen us through to the knockout stages of the Champions League as Ajax can't catch us, and obviously neither can Sparta or Moscow. Dortmund can, but we have we still have Dortmund to play, and we play them in our next game. So if we even so much as draw the next game, 
I think it's fair to say we're finishing top of the group. Right, so for the rest of this month, because I forgot to say it at the start of the episode, we've got Tottenham away, West Ham at home, Newcastle away in the league, and Dortmund at home in the Champions League. I will play this Dortmund game. I will, I'm will. i going to play the Spurs game as well, I think, and then simulate these two. And this is the team we've got out for the Tottenham game. It's slightly rotated. Branthwaite's in, Taylor's in, Elise's in, Akara's back in. It's all... Well, slightly rotated, but not really. Spurs have been a bit of a bogey team for us across the course of this se uh, this series. I nearly said save and series in one word. And we did beat them last season. Let's see if we can do it again this season with Inyaki Williams. That is a front three to be scared of. Diata Williams Pino. Wow. Okay, let's go. Elise finds the ball through for Ramos, and Ramos is on side here. It's got Solo Ramos. It's saved by Cullen, but Ramos gets his head on it. And just three minutes, three minutes in, we take the lead at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, and it's gone Solo Ramos with it. This could be fun. Oh, I'm not joking, right? As every time I go to start commentating, whether it's a live commentary or a post commentary or whatever, I always seem to start yawning. For absolutely no reason. I don't know why. I'm not tired. I just start yawning. I haven't stopped yawning through this whole for this whole commentary so far. Check him on. Oh, that's a great ball in from Des Tapino. And it's oh Sar <laughs> Commentary just I, I'm not a good commentator, am I? <laughs> Anyway, that's a great save from Andrade to get across as quickly as he did to get that one away. Come on, Akara. Outpace someone for once. He's not done it. <laughs> He's, uh, Pino's got past Cecamani as well. Williams plays it back to Orban, and it's Williams. Andrade saves, and <laughs> Saar has done pretty much exactly what Gonzalo Ramos did, reacting quickly to where the ball was and sticking it in the back of the net before Andrade even had a chance to get back up. It's 1-1, and the goals have been pretty much the same. Just that Ramos's was a header and Sars was the. Can we call that an overhead kick? That, that Yeah, that's an overhead kick. I mean, to be fair, Andrade nearly got that. Someone else who. Here we go with Ramos, who is quite quick and quite good at getting across in. And Sheshko, who's quite good at heading it, does not head it on target this time. Let's just get this whipped into the area. What a ball from Aaron. Oh, it's absolutely sensational. Benjamin Sheshko, whenever you've got him in the box, you are sorted for headers. What a ball from Aaron. Sheshko just came out of nowhere and headed it on target. Easy as you like. Oh, Diaz has got a good ball in there and Andrade gets to Williams. No, Andrade gets the ball before Williams. And Delap's going to head this away. Yes, he is. Oh, Kamara's got it back though. Saar in the middle for Kessier, now Dest. Kessier, this is going to end in a goal, isn't it? Dest inside, Branthwaite gets it away. Oh my god, oh my god. That was way closer than it should have been, but we managed to come away with the three points just. Right, here we go then, West Ham at home. This is going to be simulated. We've got the second team out because I want all of the main team fit for the game against Dortmund so we can get on with winning that Champions League group. Let's simulate this. Please don't lose. Oh, you absolute idiots. 4-2. That is quite a big scoreline for a simulation. Does mean that Liverpool have got away from us a bit, but there's still plenty of the season left to go. So here we are, the final played game of this episode, at least. Uh, Blackpool against Borussia Dortmund. If we even draw this, we'll win the group because our goal difference is like 13 better than Dortmund. And uh, we're pretty much both already through anyway. Dortmund only need a point to guarantee to go through. So uh, yeah, let's win the group, shall we? Lovely ball that from Okara. Here is uh, Alvarez now. Turns beautifully. Alvarez inside the box and Alvarez inside the goal. Well, the ball is anyway. He isn't. But he's the one who scored it and we have taken the lead against Dortmund. Look at this. Look at all the space that Ahmad's got to run into. Bellini's chasing after him. It's going to make absolutely no difference whatsoever. And the goalkeeper should have saved that. And it's 2-0. Oh, look at that from Sheshko. Here we go then. Musiala. Back post. Or just in the middle. That's absolutely fine. Gonzalo Ramos puts it in. And it's another Champions League domination. At least at the moment. It's 3-0 after 30-something minutes. Oh, what a turn. That is just sublime from Jamal Musiala. And he slots it in for four. It's another four. Could it actually be? 3-1, 3-1, 3-1. 
Five nil, five nil. Sheshko. Inside, Musiala. Hamad was so far offside there, now I've lost a bit of momentum. Musiala chipping it in towards Ahmad. It's going to fall for Ramos, who I kind of wanted to hit that first time. He's still got it. I'm sorry. How? How has he just? How has he just scored that? I genuinely don't know what just happened. What a tackle from Chukamani! Uh, oh, oh, okay. Apparently not. <laughs> oh, what has this game turned into? I'm sorry. Hold on. He got the ball. Okay, then. Here we go again. This could be more than five here. It's Liam Dela. Can he get a goal of his own? Yes, he can. What is going on with Borussia Dortmund? This is not the Borussia Dortmund that we're used to seeing. 6-0 to Blackpool. Can't believe this. Oh, here's Alien Haaland. <laughs> I wonder what had happened there for a sec. I thought he was offside. No, the ref just decided enough was enough. Just as he took the shot. Andrade saved it anyway, which just rubs salt in the wounds for Haaland. But yeah, we have won the Champions League group. Group A is ours. We are into the round of 60. Well, we already were anyway, but we are into it as group winners. Wow. That, that, this has gone so much better than I ever could have expected. Five out of five wins. Um plenty of goals scored only three conceded final game of this episode sees us take on Newcastle <laughs> didn't notice who I was playing there for a second second team is out simulated game let's see what happens we draw camera seems a bit low again don't know why if I sit back like that that's better that's better but yeah a one all draw a hatter in with their goal Karamoko Dembele with ours we fall further behind Liverpool, most likely, with that as well. We could go this, we could end up not winning the Premier League at all in this series, but you know what? That's okay. As long as we win the Champions League, I'm all good. Let's get a quick update on the Premier League table then. Games have been played since that last game, so we have fallen down to fourth for the time being behind West Ham and Aston Villa. If we win our next game, we'll go back above West Ham and Aston Villa into second place again. Uh, Liverpool lost their game though, so we would be only three points behind them if we won our next game. Brighton in fifth, not a good season for the bigger team so far, and the bottom three is currently Bournemouth, Crystal Palace and Wolves. Champions League wise, you already know, we have won the group, we've scored 20 goals uh, and conceded three. Uh, Borussia Dortmund's goal difference has taken a massive hit after that last game, <laughs> but it's us and Borussia Dortmund that will advance to the round of 16. Uh, with one game to go. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of the Blackpool Career Mode. Again, I apologise for the long delay in between these two episodes. Just, yeah, just didn't have time, uh, work, and then doing other things as well. Uh, but I promise that these episodes will come a little bit quicker now. We are approaching the time where I said, I where I mentioned on Twitter that I will record, bulk record the rest of the series. So once I've done that, the episodes will come thick and fast, probably twice a week maybe, I don't know, because I'll record and edit them all and then upload them all over the course of the next couple of months. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. And if you don't want to miss a video, then hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I upload. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. Peace.